Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss on cell and cell organelles. Cell is the basic structural, functional and fundamental unit of our life. They are able to perform all the functions efficiently with the presence of organelles. Organelles are minute particles present inside performing their own special functions. Eukaryotic cells have well developed double membraned organelles present in them. There are two types of cells eukaryotic cells, plant cells and animal cells. Let us examine this cell and identify whether it is a plant cell or an animal cell. Let us observe it carefully and examine it carefully and identify the various parts. For a plant cell, there are three unique organelles present. A chloroplast for photosynthesis, a strong cell wall, and a centrally placed large vacuole, water filled vacuole. Let us see if we can see these organelles in this cell. This cell, I am just trying to turn it around. When I am turning it around to me, I can see various organelles. But there is no cell wall, defined cell wall. There is no centrally placed vacuum. And I cannot see any chloroplast present in it. I can now conclude this is an animal cell, not a plant cell, as it doesn't have these three unique organelles. So, what all they have? Being a eukaryotic cell, what are the other organelles that this animal cell have? I can see a well placed central nucleus. I can see an endoplasmic reticulum. I can see the cell wall, mitochondria, the ribosome and even small vacuoles. I can again understand and clearly say this is a eukaryotic animal cell. This cell has so many organelles, important organelles. One is the nucleus, the center of the cell, the brain of the cell, the leader, team leader of the cell. Then we have mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Then we can see an organelle chloroplast which is present only in plant cell. Let us examine these organelles very clear and near to them. For that, let us zoom into the nucleus. Nucleus, the spherical organelle which can be seen under the compound microscope which at have all the stains or which contain the stains and become clearly visible under a compound microscope. What is the structure of this nucleus? Here it is a model open, cut open so that we can see what is the inside also. We can see that it is covered with a nuclear envelope having a numerous nuclear it has a central nucleolus and it has a number of chromatin fibers spread all over the nucleoplast. There is an endoplasmic reticulum associated with it and it is a rough endoplasmic reticulum. That is we can see ribosomes in them. This helps the nucleus to produce large amount of proteins, enzymes that are needed for the cell to function. Now we can see the nuclear pores present here, tiny holes present. They are for the transfer of materials inside and outside the nucleoplasm. From the nucleoplasm to the cytoplasm, from cytoplasm to the nucleoplasm. These small 
pores are present all over the structure and this act as the brain of the cell signaling all the organelles controlling all their activity it also actively participates during cell division by concentrating these chromatin fibers to chromosomes and in transferring the genes from one generation to the next let us move into mitochondria the energy the powerhouse of the cell mitochondria the shoe shaped structure present inside the cell it is double membranous the inner membrane is highly convoluted and this is a unique organelle it has its own dna it has ribosomes present in it can we have a closer look when we closely examine this we can see the mitochondria has its own genetic material it has its own ribosome it has ap synthetase where the atp is synthesized mitochondria is called the powerhouse because it produces stores and distributes energy as atp whenever the cell needs energy in the form of atp it is released from the mitochondria the presence of the highly convoluted inner membrane helps them to efficiently produce large amount of atp through the ets electron transport system therefore the structure of mitochondria is very much important to understand how it is efficiently working it is unique because it has its own genetic material now let's move to the next one the plastid the chloroplast the photosynthetic apparatus of the green plant cells chloroplast the green colored plastid present only in cells which do photosynthesis the structure of this plastid is also very unique and different it has double membrane it has thylakoids a structure which is very similar to coins stacked one above the other these thylakoids present inside the chloroplast resembles coin stack and these are the sites of photosynthesis the chloroplast has stroma lamellae and different membranes inner and outer membranes this lamella and stroma plays important role during photosynthesis plastids also have their own genetic material and they can transfer this data from generation to generation like daughter cells these structures like the thylakoids which we can see inside the plastid are the sites of active photosynthesis we are able to see all these organelles very near to us through augmented reality actually these cannot be seen with our unaided eyes we need an electron microscope to view them we are getting the opportunity to see them near through augmented reality hope you enjoyed the class thank you